Hello, hello, welcome. So, you can see we're playing a different game. We are playing Mass Effect via the Legendary Edition. Now, the Legendary Edition introduces, let's see, I know it's a full remaster. Let me see what it says here. Okay, so it combines all, all single-player base content from the, you know, the three games. You know, one, two, and three. So almost every single player content DLC, you know, DLC. So promo armors, weapons, packs. Let's see. So remastered, updated textures and shaders, models, effects, technical features, sharper resolutions, higher FPS, right, right. So we have a single launcher now, which is, you know, the, you, you see that before the actual games. And universal character creator, okay. So the default female shepherd is now, you know, if that was in Mass Effect 3, is now completely usable ac across all three. Okay, I think you can all you know, get uh, automatically mimic it anyway. So second and third got a uh, gameplay adjustments. So re rebalancing a galactic radiance in three. Huh, adjustable in game screenshots now. So apparently there's stuff like expanded uh, levels for boss encounters as well as more auto saving. Okay. Oh, they they uh, they overhauled the Mako. Oh, thank God. That thing was a pain in the ass. Okay, so. And they probably fixed uh, various bugs in the original release. Uh, in the original release, there was stuff like, uh, crap, what was the name? It was Nova something. Well, well, we'll get to it as part of the story. But it had a really bad uh, illumination bug if you were playing on an, a or an, on an AMD CPU. You had to use the dev console to fix it. There was a fan patch for that, though, but that's the original 2007 release. I assume it's fixed in Legendary Edition. And I know that bug would happen again if you're on Ilios, so... Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Classified information requested. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. That's the iconic male shepherd, and now we have the female shepherd. That's more accessible from the start. Please log in to access your. Of course, we play this as fem shepherd because why not? Okay, let's see. We need to. Please log in to access. Trying to figure out how to adjust that. Oh, I th okay. You have to do it this way, right? Please log in to access your profile. It's been this long since I played it, I couldn't remember. Warning, data corruption detected. Please reconstruct profile. Yeah, see, this is it. Confirm pre-service history. Confirm you get different. Profile. Okay, the way this works is, uh, you get different dialogue and different options for solving certain things in the games. Depending on the uh, cho choices you make in bio as well as gameplay. Confirm military specialization. Now, I don't know how much they changed it, but when I when I went through it, I always played a um, soldier because I was lazy with the but your powers. But powers in the Galactic Radiance, you know the. Uh, Crap, what was the mini game called? It was the multiplayer mode of Mass Effect 3. Some biotics were, biotics were fucking absurd, like the uh, In Serif Fury ad adept. Confirm facial identification. Profile reconstruction complete. And you can't change your class in Mass Effect 2 and 3. Confirmed. And from my understanding, this legendary mode, the uh, you know you can go level 160 for the original game, you know as it was in 2007, or take legendary mode, which is more unified between one and two. 
because the lower camp was too was a uh, dirty in, in Mass Effect too. And we probably won't need this, so and you can't change this on the fly, but you get an achievement for completing, you know, these two without you know changing the difficulty. Well, what about Shepard? She's a spacer, lived aboard starships most of her life. And remember, all, all dialogue in Mass Effect is voiced, so they they uh, voiced so many different lines she just to change for alterations in, di in uh, dialogue choices, gameplay choices, even background choices. She's the only reason Elysium is still standing. So it's actually quite amazing. We can't question her courage. Humanity needs a hero, and Shepard's the best we've got. I'll make the call. I think they changed the font for this as well, where, to where it resembles the uh, font used in Mass Effect 2 and 3, because I could have sworn it was different in the first game. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. You always expect the worst. Well, bad feelings are an occupational hazard. But we don't go anywhere unless there's a good reason, so... What are we doing here? Joker! Status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the calm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? He sounds angry. Something must have gone wrong with the mission. <laughs> Captain always sounds like that when he's talking to me. Can't possibly imagine why. I... So this is first area is pretty much a little mini tutorial. Go, get, go ahead and get some of these pop-ups out. Okay, so we got three points to work with. Paragon and Renegade also have a heavy impact on your gameplay as well as your, as your uh, dialogue choices, so it's always worth it to max you know, one or the other. 
basically this represents good, this represents evil. Yeah, it has more more nuance than just that. Paragon indicates uh, pretty much honor, and you know you get you, you'll get better results with Paragon on some things, whereas Renegade it represents action and not willing to always respect the rules and everything. So you get different results with Renegade. Some uh, things might be harder, some things might be easier, depending on which which way you go. Hmm. Okay, you can only up, uh, increase to a certain amount. So in the first game, charm is rep is a uh, amplified by the paragon route as well, and intimidate is re you know, represented by the renegade route. Generally speaking, you should pick one build and go with it. Instead of trying to make you max it out, unless you got a lot of a hit, a lot of um, skill points. Let's see. Go ahead and get that early on. Okay, and yeah, some armors will have helmets, so you can toggle, toggle it on and off. This is where a lot of the lore of the game is it, you know, put into. So if you ever need, if you ever have confusion about something brought up, you can see if it's in the codex. Okay, yeah, it should be everything hell later. And only in the first game. Yeah, only in the first game can you actually draw your weapons out on the ship. Okay, I'm trying to remember how to. Holster your weapon. Let's see key bindings. Let's see. Oh, wow. Huh. There we go. Ah. Okay. It's been it says long. I can't remember the interaction key. What was it again? Let's see. Probably gonna have to change it at some point. Oh. There we go. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander, just having a chat with Adams down at Engineering. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? All we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system. Why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. What do you know about the stealth systems? I just know it masks our location from scans and sensors. Cutting edge technology. The Normandy's the only ship with this prototype drive. But why are we fully staffed? A skeleton crew would be cheap. Less chance of security leaks, too. Plus, there's Nihilus. It's pretty obvious this shakedown run is just a cover. Hmm. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. And you get XP for almost any activity in the game. Looking up, you're looking up info about the Normandy or something. XP. Hey, you should have got given us a voice. Okay, so I think that's on. Uh, you get a different ship in Mass Effect 2 and 3. Okay. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. You need to calm down, Corporal. 
A good soldier stays cool even under fire. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. Just treat this like every other assignment you've had and everything will work Now, very correctly, during the first time you play through Mass Effect, you can't skip dialogue, but in replays, you can. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, ma'am. I'm not going to screw this up. The captain's waiting for me. Man, this Goodbye. game looks so much better now in what this remaster like. You know, this is, a, this is a game originally made in 2007, but... This, oof. They did a good job. So let's see, where else do we need to go to get some extra... Okay, so this is an advanced story. And I think you can get some extra XP by... Checking something real quick. I don't remember what, though. The captain's waiting for you in okay. the room, Commander. Okay, there's a dash button. I know that. Let's see. Check this. Oh, right. The mirror corrected the sprint was kind of uh, shitty in the original game, but it got a lot better in the sequels. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It'll give us a chance to talk. The captain said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. I'm interested in this world we're going to, Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. They say it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. Serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Hmm. Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time. So it's interesting how this game picks up with uh, humanity this having explored space thanks to uh, you know discovering lost you know, lost uh, technology of a superior race. And I remember making this comparison back during Gateway playthrough. I figured there was something you weren't telling us. Because there's going to be a lot you'll see in here that, <laughs> yeah. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is big, Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. It never hurts to have a few extra hands on board. The beacon is not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. Guess that explains why I bump into him every time I turn around. The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, shows how far the Alliance has come. You held off an enemy assault during the Blitz single-handed. You showed not only courage, but also incredible skill. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Now you can see bonus dialogue about the, these two. Well, yeah, these, uh, give the word, these subjects, rather. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? 
Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Cuts out after that. No comm traffic at all. Just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold the 38.5. Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Elenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in what about survivors, Captain? Oh, we can't skip it. Never mind. Approaching drop point one. Your eyes are dialed something you couldn't, you couldn't do until after a replay. It's been that long again. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck. We are approaching drop point two. Ship perimeter secure, Commander. So using the right mouse button by default, we can use the aim down sights mode. This place got hit hard, Commander. Hostiles everywhere. See, the, I guess they kept the original. Original system. What the hell are those? Oh, God, what happened here? That really looks a lot like a more uh, modernized Mass Effect 3. No, wait, no. I think it actually might be the font for Mass Effect 3, but I have never actually played the Legendary Edition version, of so. Anyway, something to know about Mass Effect 1 is almost in the almost. In okay, the enemy force is composed of almost entirely mechanical enemies, so you want to specialize in mechanical, you know, stuff that you know, banks up. So all of them I can't tell. You don't see any more on the radar. We'll see that he receives a proper service once the mission is complete. Now anyway, as I was saying the, the enemies in the game are almost entirely mechanical. There are biological ones, but you want to specialize in stuff that, you know, fucks up mechanical enemies because you're, that's the majority of the forces you're going to be fighting in the game. Let's see. Okay, they kept the map the same. All right, so we're going to head north. I've got some 
burned our buildings here, Shepard. A lot of bodies. I'm gonna check it out. I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site. Now these little gas bubble things don't, they don't give XP. I can't see him. It's behind the tree. Sure, it's at range. Thanks for your help, Commander. I didn't think I was gonna make it. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. He the one in charge here, ma'am? Are you wounded, Williams? A few scrapes and burns. Nothing serious. The others weren't so lucky. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. This isn't your fault, Williams. Yes, ma'am. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have... The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still... We could use your help, Aye, aye, ma'am. It's time for... Move up! So we got a nice Paragon boost there, too. Here, but some of these they never ever ever actually use. And it's only part of the uh, job, you know, the uh, profession and all that. But stuff like this, they will act actively use. See, don't, yeah, I don't think there's anything else. Oops. Ugh, I'm not, I'm not gonna get used to remember, remembering it's on a spacebar instead of shift. Because in, almost in any game that has a dash function, you know. Okay. So, yeah, as I say, in any game with dash function, shift is usually the actual dash button.
Oh, what's it got? Friendly fire there. Just straight jumped in front of me like that. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. You think anyone got if out of If they were lucky, it's just on the top of this ridge. Yeah, right, see if there's anything to loot. There's a small spaceport up ahead. Ah, over here. I'll wait for you there. What's that to take? Let's see, we're facing the wrong way. Okay, yeah, we're going the wrong way. Squirrely little bastard. Let's see, do we have the overheat power? No. Hmm. Odd. Okay. There we go. I forget he had, in the first game you had to assign it manually. I think in the second one it's assigned, uh, you know, it automatically fills out a hot bar. You have to change it around to what you want. I kind of missed the mini game, yeah, little hacking mini game. It was, it was pretty cool in the first game. Humans. Thank the maker. Hurry, close the door before they come back. Don't worry, we'll protect you. Thank you. I think we'll be okay now. It looks like everyone's gone. You're Doctor Warren, the one. It was moved to the spaceport this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to help pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. No they one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit... Is it madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing so... us, To understand there is no escape, no hope. This guy just seems rambling at first, but in later games it is, uh, there's a re reason re so you should be listening to him. I'll say that much. I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. Did you notice a Tory? I saw him. The prophet. Leader of That's the impossible. Enemy. Nihilus was with us in the Normandy. This is also something to be paying attention to. I I'm sorry. Manuel's still a bit unsettled. We haven't seen your Turian. What else can you tell me about? It all happened so fast. Agents Once... of the destroyers. We could hear the battle outside. Gunfire, screams. I thought it would Williams, never end. take us to the spaceport. You can't stop it. Nobody can stop it. Night is falling. The darkness of each Hush, Manuel, go lie down. You'll feel better once the medication kicks in. Okay, whoops. Camera went nuts. See. I thought there was loot in here. Maybe it might be a different one. You're wasting your time. The age of humanity. Manuel, it's probably best if you just leave him alone. I don't have time. Time? For Our time is over. Let's see. Is there another one? Oh, we have a lot of points. Okay, well, let's max out our stuff. Let's see.
kind of like this legendary mode already. Ah, damn it, there we go. I think we're going the wrong way. Yeah, we are. Saren. Linus. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. So from the start, you get you get the you know, it's established. Saren is a dick. They got it. Could not see it though. Ah, stuff to loot. Probably. Everybody, stay calm. Out Is it there. safe? Are they gone? You're okay now. Those Nobody's things were good. crawling all around the shed. They would have found us for sure. We owe you our lives. Uh, I still can't showed up right before the attack. Knew it was trouble the second I saw it. So we made a break for the sheds. We're just farmers. We heard they found something out there, but it never really mattered. I have to go. Hey, Cole, we're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are so... Jeez, Blake, you've got to learn when to shut up. Wait, y'all got pot in there? <laughs> you have something to tell me, Cole? Some guys at the spaceport were running Aww. a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. You're breaking the law, Cole. We're not hurting anybody. Hell, most of the time, I don't even know what's in the packages. I found a pistol. Oh, well, okay, you know. Then. Handy if those things Give me a, get, you know, a gat. But you'll probably get more use out of it than we will. And this is a good example of the, um, the reason why you should max out Intimidate and Charm, you know, especially depending on your uh, progression. On, you know, what uh, alignment you're taking. We're risking our lives. Yeah, there's one more thing. Who's okay. your contact at the spaceport, Cole? What's his name? He's not a bad guy. Snitch. <laughs> get him in trouble. Besides, I'm not a snitch. You are now. <laughs> to do with this whole attack, Cole. We need his name. It's important. Yeah, okay, you're right. His name's Powell. I have to go. Good luck. Okay, unfortunately, our electronic skill's too low. Hmm, actually, I wonder. Okay, no, there was a hot key to go straight to your level up. Let's see what it was. May not be in Mass Effect 1, though. Oh, there it is. Yep. There it is. That's it. Hmm, no. Nah. We don't get access to it. Once you become a Spectre, though, you will do get access to more skills and such. So, maybe, but it, alas, it's something we can't get this time. And you can never use your um, your squad to do electronics. I think in Mass Effect in two and three you can use them, but it's not as effective as you as the player being one. Commander, it's Linus. 
Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait, don't don't shoot. I'm one of you. I'm human. Sneaking up on us like that nearly got I, I, My name's Pal. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. I need to know the, how the other that... one got here first. He was waiting when your friend sh your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Sarah straight up popped a cap in him. Shot him right in the back. I I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. We were told a Prothean beacon was brought to the spaceport. What happened to it? It's over on the other platform. Probably where that guy Saren was headed. He hopped on the cargo train right after he killed... I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell. They killed everyone. Everyone. How come you're the only one who survived? They never had a chance. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. You survived because you're lazy? You hadn't snuck off for that nap. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I don't really want to think about it. Hmm. This thing's going crazy. There we go. Your Cole's contact here on the docks for the smuggling ring. I think it's actually picking up a controller which is plugged in, so. What? No! My supervisor's dead, the entire crew's dead. It doesn't matter. Anything now, does hidden it? nearby? A shipment of grenades came through last week. You Nobody greedy knows. son of a bitch. We're out here trying to protect your sorry ass, and all you can think about is how you can rip us off? Ashley is kind of special in the first game. Who'd want to attack Eden Prime? We're just a bunch of farmers. How was I supposed to know? Forget about him. You're lucky the commander's here, pal. They're yours. Take them. My smuggling days are over, I swear. A lot of Marines died here, Powell. Those grenades... Yeah, uh, okay. There is something else I was Experimental saying. technology, top line. You got my attention. Experimental technology, top of the line. Take it. I don't need it. I didn't want anyone to get hurt. Really, I'm sorry. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. Ooh. High explosive. I like that. Okay, whoops. Alright, so let's take a look. So in the first game, you had a wide variety of weapons, and some performed differently than others, so there was actually reason to take it other than its fancy name. Banshees have higher damage, okay. And combat mods are reusable, so all you gotta do is remove it. Oh, wait, oh, I saw it. Ah, right, so you got you get two slots for a mod one is ammo mod, and the other is the actual combat mod. I forgot. Let's go ahead and keep that in there. You can always compare it. So leave that for now. Grenade. Okay, if I remember correctly, they changed the. Uh, I remember something about this being changed, whereas grenades before, but now it's actually a grenade launcher. See here, uh, that's not it. Find the key bindings again. Okay, grenade. Yeah. Let's see, what was the quick load button? Cause I want to show off the grenade before we get into actual combat. Okay, F9. All right. Oh shit! Never mind.
don't think I see any more out here. They're firing at something though. It's just caveman it. Time to move on. Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. Oh, kitchen. Don't mind us just standing in the uh, the open like that. Demolition charges. The Geth must have planted them. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down. So we got two more to go. Alright, combat radar is jammed. Medijal being a lot stronger in Mass Effect 1. Maybe this cute got a couple of options. Alright, so we got all disarmed. Should be. Let's see. Spot we move to. Okay, we should be able to go through here then. Yep. Mind me just taking stuff while shooting. Okay, looks like everything. I don't think there's anything else to grab here.
Normandy, the beacon is secure. This is amazing. Immediate actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. Nice acid trip. And achievement. So that's pretty cool. The first game, you know, now that I think about it, the first game was released the same time they started making achievements more commonplace in 7th generation. Yeah, 7th generation consoles. And that did translate to PC version as well. Also, dude, check this guy out, he started roid rage. <laughs> Doctor? Dr. Chakwas. I think she's waking up. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? Minor throw. About 15 hours. Damn, hell will we Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had no way to know what would happen. Actually, we don't even know if that's what set it off. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. And the blast knocked you cold. Damn. James and I had to carry you back here to the ship. I appreciate it. Physically, you're fine. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Science Hell of a nightmare. Hell of a nightmare. Streaming. I saw... Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh. Captain Anderson. How's our exo holding up, Doctor? When all the readings look normal, I'd say the commander's going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. I'll oh, live. crap, I clicked a little too fast. Oh, mind, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus I didn't do anything wrong, Captain. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. Saren's a specter. One of them. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous. Why? He thinks we're growing too fast. But Saren has allied himself with me. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was at? Just before I lost... So, generally speaking, left side choices will, uh, you know, give you access to... More dial dialogue as well as opportunities for, per you know, Paragon and Renegade stuff. Whereas the right will progress the story. I saw synthetics. We need to report this to the council. What are we going to tell them? I had a bad dream? We don't know what information, but I know Saren. I know he has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command. I'll find some way to take It's him. not that easy. He's a specter. We proved Saren's gone rogue in the council. I'll contact the ambassador. And we should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. Okay, yes, Commander. Is there something you need? What do you know about Captain? I've the crew knows he's seen pretty much anything they'll ever I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Hmm. Well, we'll just head out to the bridge. You know, extra stuff here. Uh, 
Ah. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. Hmm. Interesting. So if you tap out during cutscenes, it kills the audio, but not when you're in... Okay, so there's two types of cutscenes. You got a, a fully rendered one like this, and then you got in-game engine one. So in-game engine does not... Uh, cut out the audio or anything when you're tab out for us, you know, even for a second, but full cutscenes like this, it will cut it out. God damn! Keep forgetting how goddamn big that thing is. Straight out of the way. Hmm. I can't think of what it reminded me of. Maybe, um, some weird concept art of an EVE Online ship. And that little uh, thing you just saw, the uh, two vehicles passing, that used to be the loading screen on in visual version. So they apparently, yeah, apparently one of the biggest things they did to improve this game was remove a lot of the loading times. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action. You don't get to make demands of a council ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Seren. We will discuss the CSEC findings. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Yeah. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. They are. Sounds like you convinced... They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like... Seren's it. a threat to every human... Settle power. down, Commander. You've already done more. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Not Nihilus Saren's fault, not hers. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Come with me, Captain. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. And that's why I hate politicians. Hmm. And this is where you get side quests. You know, side quests will come up from either dialogue or finding stuff like this in terminals. And more than likely, I'll be doing a lot of the side quests off screen and focus on the, uh, you know, main story, you know, on screen, on uh, screen, so. Doing the side quests actually has you know value because yeah it pays off Mass Effect two and three and extra XP and so on and so on. Good day, Commander. The human ambassador is up the stairs, first room on the right. So this is an Asari, which is basically the, uh, you know if you if you're familiar or of uh, Orions from Star Trek, yeah, same concept. Only something. Let's see, America, there are male. Wait, actually, let me check. I'm gonna check real quick. I believe there are male Orions. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, there are male Orions. Okay, so it's it's kind of a bad comparison because 
unlike the Asari, there are males of the, of the uh, Orion race, whereas Asari are entirely female. You know who I am? Yes, I receive reports on all newly arrived dignitaries and notable people. What is this place? This is the Presidium. If you have more questions, please access Avena. What's that? Oh, Avena is the virtual guide for the city. I should be going now. Have a pleasant day. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow so in many, many ways, you'll, you'll, you'll notice that the Citadel of Mass Effect is a lot like, uh, let's see, well, of gate of gateway of uh, the gateway you know novel franchise and well game duology they both serve very similar purposes i can't believe i landed a job here this place is fantastic so we're just going around here collect all this extra stuff And you're, uh, and, and you know, and if you talk to your um, squad mates, you know, you get you know, get different dial your know, dialogue depending which one you got and in what area you're in. Ah, you humans are a wonderful sight here on the city. Commander Shepard, I didn't expect to see you here. Did Ambassador Udina send you? Ah, uh, half tempted to pick that the Mundo option. I came on my own. You humans are always so curious. Ah, uh, never mind. Was there something you needed, Commander? I get the feeling you're not too fond. No, of me. I just. You humans are eager to take all the power you can get, and you're being given a lot. He's putting us on blast. To make humanity their new favorite pet. That's their business. Yeah, well, fuck but you too. Like <laughs> pet my ass. The council treats us like second Good. class citizens. Then fight for it. But don't expect the rest of us to just sit back and let you take it. You what know, honestly, at least he's honest, we you know? Know. know? He's at least honest about how he, how he feels. I'll be going. I'll give him that. I like how we can just walk over here and he, he just do this and he doesn't seem to actually care or notice. Okay, so the little hacking mini games are basically you gotta move your uh, cursor up to a point using the uh, watch movement, and red box will knock you back to the start. So we got something out in Hawking Ada. Hey, Ada. For Mary Quick, the, the events there has something that, that only gets paid off during uh, Mass Effect 3. What do you want? Oh, come on. Is there something Relax, I can do? Relax, Private. This isn't... Right. Sorry. What can I do for you? I, uh... Well... You never want to see her. I, uh... No. I never did. I couldn't afford it. It costs half a year's credits just to... Go what, is she an, an agony aunt? Can you at least tell me where I sure. can find her? Sure. She's across Thanks, kid. Have fun. I will. Have fun, then. I should probably explain that one. Oh. <laughs> Okay, that's a fun glitch. This wouldn't be a Bioware game about some goofy glitch. I don't have time to talk now. I'm very busy. Hello, Commander. Can I get you something? Anyway, agony on is a uh, British expression. It refers to basically someone who's like a therapist but not paid for it. It's kind of complicated, I think. Basically, somebody you vent to. What have you got? Information, mostly. Would you What's like going to on around well, here? Across the bridge, you'll find the bank, the Emporium. If you need supplies, you can try the markets one level below. Goodbye. So long, Commander. And something interesting about the, you know, this game is all these, these locations mentioned show up either in the main story or side quests. They're not just there for fluff. They, you know, there are, there will be, there's always actual reason to go to some of these areas. Oh, I guess we're supposed to use a Vena. You know, it's been years since I did a walkthrough, you know, you know played through it, so I kind of forgot. But I'm sure it'll come back to me in time. Is there something else I can I should be have going. a play? Okay. Let's 
see. Get looking over the map. Greetings and welcome to the Presidium. So are you a person? I am a fully interactive virtual intelligence program to provide spontaneous. So this is actually a, a major component of the game's story. Is there's a major distinction between AI and VI. VIs are the ones that are loved, whereas AIs are more like the are the GIF. Give me the tour. You are standing on the far end of this level. You can see the Citadel Tower. Where the council meets regularly. What can you tell me about Originally, this? roughly 1,304 galactic standard years ago, Turians were invited to join the council and... Since then, the three council races have worked together to ensure... It can't be as simple as that. I am not programmed to make that kind of qualified judgment. Goodbye. Mark, goodbye, and thank you for using Avena. So that is a Enjoy key part of the council, how, how they work. They reward races who do... Cert, you know, things that are uh, beneficial to them. You know, started with the Asari and the Salarians. Then the you know, Tyrians joined because of you know, where, the role they played in the Krogan Rebellion. Which is a major plot. The background that uh, background uh, event that does have actual impact on the main games. Now let's see. Hmm. Trying to okay, that's our bearing. Oh, right, rapid transit. So we're gonna go over here and pick up some more uh, side quests. I'm pretty sure there's a couple over here that's early on. That goddamn huge thing is a Krogan. Obviously, it's not the scale as, as it's just a statue, but that's what a Krogan looks like. I've had my office rearranged five times now. Five times? Why? What do they want? How should I know? It's not like you can... Welcome. I am Nalina. Would you like me to see? I think I'm done here. Oh, well, Whoops. I hope you'll return. Nalina. Yes, Shayu? Hit the wrong damn button, but it's okay. Send the commander up to see me. I wish just, to you, know, you, you can't really arrange an appointment without... The console doing that. Huh. It appears the consort has taken notice of you. Where do I go? Just head upstairs. She'll be By upstairs they mean <laughs> a few feet. I have to admit I'm a little nervous. This is my first time. I can't believe I didn't come sooner. God. Welcome. It is a pleasure to see you. The Volus are a bit, a bit of comic relief. You're with the Alliance. My brother's a private back on Earth. That is close enough, Commander. I've heard a great many things about you since your arrival here in our Citadel. What exactly do you do? That depends on your needs. I have a certain problem that could use... Maybe it. I can help. I have a friend, Septimus, a retired Turian general. I won't discuss the details, but he wanted me to be more than I could be. We had a falling out. Now he spends... If you would speak to him as a fellow soldier, I believe he will listen to I you. I think this, this dialogue is always the same, and it's not actually uh, profession-related. So... What exactly do you want me to tell Appeal me? to a sense of honor. If you can convince him to stop... Now I must ask you to take your leave. I have many clients waiting to see me. Yeah, and there's not a single fucking person in there waiting. Why you lie to my face like that? <laughs> take a seat if you like. It may be a while. I'd spend all day here. Look at the map. Ah, we should go over there and buy. Yeah, look at the Emporium. Ah. 
human. This one is greatly pleased to see you. Who are you? This one's face name is Della Ninder, though many in this place simply refer to it as Della. Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase. All of great. Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will. Not hmm. For the most part, you're not going to find any decent stores this early on. Commander, show me your items. Oh. What you do want to pick up are these. In the first game, you had to get licenses to our certain, our certain vendors because it will allow you to, to buy items on the Normandy. Commander, it is good to see you. What exactly do you sell? This one is able to procure almost any item the human would desire. I think I should be going. Return soon. This one receives new shipments regularly. Hmm. What's this? One of the Earth Clan. Ah, a very famous one, yes? You are the one called Shepard. It is a great honor to welcome the heroes of the You've place. got me at a disadvantage. Forgive me, Earth Clan. I am a financial advisor to many important clients here on the Citadel. Tell me more about your job. Galactic finance is incredibly complex. I'm an expert in how all these... I also offer premium services for mm. those clients who need someone to conduct Sounds business. pretty shady. Everything I do falls completely within the bounds of interstellar commerce law. For example, suppose a Hanar ambassador was petitioning the council to reduce tariffs on Hanar goods. Mm. How would it look if he had money invested in a Hanar exporting company? Even if his true motives were to help his people, he would be accused of advancing the petition for his own personal gain. I can keep his personal finances private. Still so yeah. shady to me. Then we can only hope you will never be cursed with a large enough fortune to require my services. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. But may correct you, Barlevon becomes more important in 2 and 3. You know, there's a lot of stuff in 1 and 2 that you don't pay, if you don't pay attention to that, you does have impact in 3. Let's see. Okay, so we can, uh, where is our destination? So assignments are side quests. Oh, we gotta go to the tower, right? Wow, it's night day the difference. Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council. Don't be ridiculous. Now, how the hell did Palin get over there before us? We did, you know? Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge. Sounds like you really want to I don't to trust him. him. Something about him rubs me the wrong. But he's a specter. Everything I think the done. council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. <laughs> they were, if they weren't listen, this wouldn't be, uh, we wouldn't have three games. And you know, the original trilogy. Wait, didn't we? Oh. Man. I think it dumped us there back there so we could see the you know, Garrus and Helen. Is it Palin or Palin? I don't actually know. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in... Cold. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The mission to Eden Prime was top secret. 
The only way you could know about the beacon was if you were With dead. Nihilus gone, his files passed. But what can you expect from a human? Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn. Has no right to say that. That Shepard's shot. admission into the Spectres is this not. This meeting the has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor. And my. Saren's hiding behind his. What position. we need is evidence. So far, we've seen nothing. I don't remember that Salarian have f having face paint. I wonder if they consequence of the uh, rather of a change from the upgrade, you know, the remaster. How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts. And now the Tyrians and the sorry having face pain is actually meaningful because it's, 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 a, it's a big cultural reason why. You've made your decision. I won't wait. The council has found no evidence of any connection. I'm glad to see justice was served. This meeting is adjourned. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing. I know, Saren. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in we danger. We need to deal with Saren. As a specter, he's virtually... What about Garrus, that C-Sec and... That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in C-Sec who mm. can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with you Saren. You can't just cut Captain Anderson. The Ambassador's right. I need to take care of some business. Captain's probably getting drunk. So, what, what they're talking about with uh, Anderson and Saren is actually stuff that's uh, talked about in, I forget the, mo the novel's name, but it's actually one of the uh, Mass Effect novels that takes place before the first game. So, there's actually a lot of lore they reference in the novels and comics that, you, you, that it gets alluded to in the games. Maybe there's another way to You should talk it. to Barla Vaughn over in the financial district. The shadow broker? An information See, this is why you want to talk to Barla Vaughn, but after it. He might know something about Saren, but his information won't Tell come Tell me to more you. about the shadow. He's a necessary bro. evil of galactic politics. Always sells to the highest bidder. He's not a threat to anyone, not directly. He's just a resource we can use, or she is. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over. And, yeah. The shadow broker is also something that becomes a big, t yeah, becomes a major plot element. And there's actually DLC for two called Lair of the Shadow Broker, where you actually meet the shadow broker. Let's see, where was the... Right. Okay, go back to the transit, don't we? Hmm. You know, now, I'll try to remember to, to go over it in more in detail, but there, there the Shadow Broker is... What, a DLC that heavily changes depending on the state of the game. I'll explain more when, when, that, when time comes. Let's see, uh, okay, this way. Is there anything I can do for you today? Come I heard you work for the Shadow Broker. Do you have any information? You're very blunt, Shepard. But you're right. I hear your information can be exchanged. Normally, this information would cost a small fortune. But these are exceptional circumstances. So I am going to give it to you for free. How nice. What's the catch? There is no catch. The Shadow Broker is quite upset oh, with Sarah. Oh, useful. Right they used to do a lot of business. Until... That's what happens when you deal with a traitor like Sarah. No matter what you think of... Turning on him doesn't make... I don't know the details, but the Shadow Broker hired a freelancer to deal with it. A That's Krogan. not much to go on. I just told you that the most... Speak with the Krogan if you want to learn more. I heard he was paying a visit to Citadel Security. Isn't it strange that it... Very. However, I doubt the visit was entirely... Thanks for the info. My okay, so we gotta get to your c -Sec. So we gotta find Rex and we gotta find Garrus.
Hmm. Whoops. Uh, we're going. I think we had to go to their menu to discover CSEC. I just kind of forgot which way to go. Let's see. Hmm. Used to be possible. I'm uh, sure it used to be possible to where you could, uh, you know, click this and it would, you know, allow you to look at, it. you know, look at it there, but it just pops the uh, journal up, up instead. Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good thing. Go ahead, grab that. Hmm. That too. <sighs> Let's see. Do, do, do. Should be stairs around here. Yep. I wonder if they fixed the bug with him. You're Commander Shepard, the hero of He's got a bug time. with uh, his I Mass so Effect 1 to, to uh, conversion data, where it, uh, where it automatically assumed he took the Renegade option, even if he didn't. And it, honestly, it ended up being a lot better than, you know, than before. It made much more sense. <laughs> nice to meet you. And my name is Conrad. Conrad Vernon. I spent most of my time trying to hey, stay alive. I know you're probably busy, but... Um... Anything for a fan. Here. Thanks. So he becomes a bit more important in two and three. There are reasons why. But next time you're on Earth, I'd love to buy. Hello, Earth Clan. Show me what you got. Best place on this ward to buy upgrades. So when you do when you go to the stores in each area, make sure to get them. You know, get those licenses so you expand the quartermaster on Normandy. And some of these are racially based in, in the sense that there, there are licenses are available with the racial vendors. Elcos is a Volus company, so you have to go to the Volus in order to get it. Okay, we're in the main ward area. Commander Shepard, excuse me. I'm Emily Wong. I'm an investigative journalist working here on the Citadel. What do you need? I've been hunting for evidence. I was hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation. I can. How do you know that mine? You wouldn't be investigating if it weren't big, and if it sounds big, like a good cause. Thank you, Commander. You won't regret. It. And there's more side quests. Okay, this is where we need to go to get to C quest. Yeah, you know, C sec. attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was... Okay, you skip this and, well, you don't want to because at certain, uh, at certain points in the game when you do an elevator se you know, ride sequence, you actually get a um, side quest to pop up. At least that was the case in the original game. I don't know but if you could skip it here. And still get the side quest prompt. I assume not. Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. You want me to arrest you? I want you to try. 
If I haven't, yo, I'm sure I forget, but I just want to say now, Rex is one of the best fucking characters in this game. Get out of here. He's got some of the best lines. I'm trying to bring down Saren. Barlavon said to talk to you. Barlavon is a wise man. We may share a common. Enlighten me. I've been hired to kill the owner of Korra's den, a man named Fist. What'd he do? He betrayed the sh**. A quarian showed up here on the Citadel. He promised to arrange a meeting between her and the Shadow. What does Saren have to do with Well, the quarian has something to do. If we get our hands on that evidence, we can prove that Saren's a traitor. Saren might already have her. Last I heard, Fist still oh, had her. Me? Probably somewhere inside his club. I want to know more Can't about tell you. you much. What about Hold Garrus, on. that Turian? He wants to take Saren down. He might too. come in handy. He was here just before you showed up. Said he was going to follow up a lead on his investigation. Move out. And you can see we have the ability to pick up three more members, three more squad members in the game. And Mass Effect 2 is expanded to a, what was it, eight? And then you get a, a then you get a, in, in a couple of the DLCs you have a fourth squad member, so it's kind of less flexible. Let's see. Oh, requisition turn around. And we're going to go over to Med Quink in a moment and get Garrus. He should still be there. I forget exactly where his recruitment point was in Metric 1. One sec. Looking at Commander Shepard here with the Alliance. How did you know all that? I'm the C-Sec. So, will you be purchasing anything today? Show me what you got. Hmm, if I remember correctly, yeah, the level 1 stuff is, level, okay, level 2 is decent. Level 1 was monthly junk that you uh, sell for, hmm. Yeah, what is it up now? You, you, you uh, refine the level 1 stuff, and level 2 and above, you start selling for big money. If I remember correctly, you, you get better drops playing on hard mode, on higher. All right, so we should go back to. Sad, I can't tell which. I can't remember. What, I think it's what upper ward. Hmm. A Solarian excavation team is running. Ah, see, that's what I was talking about right here. After unearthing a Prothean dig site, Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of. Uh, well, that should be a side quest anyway. Could just be background stuff. The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. Hey, I know you. You're Shepard, right? I was on Mindwar during the Blitz. Saw you on the vids when you got your Looks medal. like you have a fan. I'm sorry, I just never... It's an honor to meet you, Commander. What are you doing down here in the wards? Anything I can help you with? Do you know a C-Sec? I shouldn't really say. T drinking on the job, taking bribes, that kind of thing. I have to go. Right. You're probably real busy. So, see you around, Commander. Hmm. Okay, let's, let's yeah, hustle up here. Don't kid yourself. Let's see. Okay, we actually turn around, yeah. I got a tour. One of five hundred to see the ascension. You can keep the presidium. This is where the action is. I didn't tell anyone, I swear. Now here we go. Action. Now if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or we Who are you? Let her go. Dropped him like a bad habit. <laughs> Over there. Taka, 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 taka. OK. 
Okay, is that all of them? Hmm, I guess it is. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. What were you thinking? You could have hit the hostage. There wasn't time to think. I just No, react. I'm okay. Thanks to you. I know those oh, men threatened. They work for Feast. The one I told you about, Shepard. Mm. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way. Time we pay visit. So if you go to Gareth before this getting Rex, you don't see that little pop-up, that little dialogue line from him. But if you get Rex Coming first, you me. get it. So there's a lot of neat touches like this in the game. Even even recruitments, you know, you know recruitment, um... Why do you want to bring it can down? be, you know, cuts, you know, scenes can be totally different depending on what you do prior. I knew what was really going on. Saren is a traitor Welcome to the board, Garrus. Like, a hallmark of the, of the Mass Effect trilogy is that Bioware put a lot of development into predicting what a player may or may not actually do. I never properly... I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't been there. Let me take a look at what... Of course. Ah, oh, damn, that's that price. But look at that, some good stuff, though, for if you're uh, running a uh, biotic build. And Toxin Resist does actually have major impact. It's mostly in some uh, main areas, but mainly in side quest areas where there's a lot of uh, toxic zone, you know, toxic gas areas. So that, that actually does pay off big time if you're doing certain side quests. I think we should, we should be... Oh, yeah, we got a lot of points that we should be using. So, generally speaking, you want to max out your... You, you want to have as much Intimidate as possible before you go sell and stuff. That way you get more back from it. Hmm... There we go. Oh yeah, and every time you get a new part, your new party member, they get, you know, their uh, levels cranked. You know, they, you have to spend stuff on their levels. Well, can't stare. I was couldn't see the uh, cursor. That's weird. Me. Oh, cause there. Yeah, that's why the controller is being picked up. I should. I should see if it's possible to disable it. All right, so. Damn, he gets the good shit there. So I get, I think it stack actually does stack with uh, you know, regular assault, wet, you know, rifles. So. A lot of the ra these races have a specialization towards their their typical activity, like, uh, you know, Krogan here. He's he's gonna be a tank. Like he is one of the tankiest fucking things in the entire series. And the Krogan characters in two and three reflect this, especially in the in the the, the, the multiplayer as in the original version of Mass Effect Three. The Krogan Sentinel there was fucking annoying. Like, just fucking insane. Yeah, and you, you see, if you look at the, te the flavor text for this, Krogan are very, uh, well, it's more like, don't piss them off. They're, they're, they are really hard to kill, especially when raging. So he gets melee damage bonus. But correctly, Rex is more of a uh, shotgun user than he is a uh, assault rifle. But assault rifles are ones you get from the start, so. May have to switch him to a shotgun later. And he doesn't have a helmet uh, right now. Wait, let me see. Oh, just because we're indoors. 
ne- well, at least for d- those there too, but in uh, space areas, you know, missions such, they do equip helmets. It just doesn't want to show up here for some reason. Okay, so let's see. Now we have that. Hmm. So this, these two are quests we can do when we get access to Normandy again. Hmm, I'm about to look this one up because I don't remember how to complete that one. Anyway, we're going to go pay visit to Fist now. And it's worth it to do the exploration early on so you don't have to do it later. Oh, wait, we're going the wrong way. So if you come here early, then this happens. Right, if you come here after you're getting wrecked, it this happens. But I don't think we got locked off from the Septimus quest. You have to come back after it's uh, cleared. Took out an entire small army well, here. Guards must be dead. Stay back or we'll shoot. This would be a good time to find somewhere else to work. Yeah, yeah, right. That's a good idea. Yeah, I never liked Fist anyway. It would have been quicker to just kill them. Shooting people isn't always the answer. You see why I like Rex. Let's see, what's the equip? Let's go ahead and give you know, him a shotgun now. She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. Wait, wait, I don't... The Quarian isn't here. Said she'd only deal face with the Shadow Face to face? Broker. Impossible. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker. Ever. Even I don't... But when she shows up... Give me the location. Now. Here on the wards. The back alley by the markets. What are you doing? The Shadow Broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. We don't shoot How on our... How many people died because of him? That Quarian's dead if we don't go now. Let's see. Ooh, good upgrades. So you get four minutes, so it's really not that hard. Oh. Do we have a firefight to go through? So you can see more came up. never go off. It's been so long I don't really remember. Where did these guys come from? That's it. 
Wait, Septimus is in it? Hey, hold on. Oh, that's a weird bug. Shows him there when you, when you can't actually talk to him. So this is Tally Zoria, who is one of the more loved characters of the franchise. Because she tends to be more, a bit adorable at times. Come on, cool off. This is why you want to watch out on overheating, because it can take a while to regen, you know, to cool off. Like how that keeper is just hanging there chilling. Just set me up. I knew I couldn't trust him. Were you hurt in the fight? I know how to look after myself. Not that I don't appreciate. My name's Shepard. Then I have a chance to repay you. For we could take her to the human embassy. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards and all-out assault on Korra's den. Do you know? Sounds like a fun night to me. Who's this? A quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? Making your day, Ambassador. Really? Maybe you better start at the beginning, Miss... My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. I've never heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. <laughs> Alone, we search the stars, only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves... What kinds of things do you look It for? could be resources like food or fuel. Or so this is actually something that plays into the Aquarian storylines in 1, 2, and 3. Through our pilgrimage, we prove that we will contribute to the community, rather than being a burden on our limited resources. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my... I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I thought I... the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense. How did you manage to... My people them? created the Geth. If you're quick, careful, and... Most of the core was wiped clean. But I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. He said Eden Prime the brought... The conduit him. must have something to do with the... Beat. Wait, there's more. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. Oh, great Reapers. Fucking Xenos in this. About you can't be rid of them no matter what game we go to. Are they some kind of new alien species? According to the memory core, the, Reap the Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction. Sounds a little far-fetched. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it. Damn. The Geth revere the Reapers as the God. Council is just going to the Reapers are a threat to every species in Citadel space. We have to tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audio files prove Saren's a traitor. The captain's right. We need to present this to the council right away. What about her? The Quarian? 
My name is Tali. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. I thought you were on your pilgrimage. The pilgrimage proves we are willing to give a... Saren is a danger to the entire I'll town. take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret this. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the Council. Now, she's actually really extremely useful to have against Geth. So if you know there's going to be Geth in the mission, bring her along. Because because once you've got her trained up a bit, she can actually uh, shut down some of the really dangerous ones. And I've been you always had her around for, you know, as a general purpose, uh, you know, set up here with Rex. And we do have access to an Asari later on. You know, Mass Effect 1 is interesting in that you can get your complete team within the first two hours of uh, gameplay, depending on how fast you, you you go through it. Whereas most other games of, this, of a similar type, you would have to wait a few hours to get your full team if they're not already available at the start. Okay, so now we're going to go back to the tower. Hmm. Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Commander Shepard. My name is Samesh Bhatia. It's no me. trouble. My wife was a Marine. I've requested that my wife's body be returned to Why the did they population. refuse your request? I don't know. All I know is that they have declared... There's no it. reason for your wife's The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. Thank you for your time. So let's go over here. I think this should be the right spot for the bar. Hmm. Guess not. I can't believe I landed a job here. Oh, we're going the wrong way again. So like one of the few complaints I have about Mass Effect 1 is the direction and getting your bearings can be a little bit wonky. Shepard. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. My goodness, your activities made for quite a briefing in the Diplomatic Corps. Is there something? Ah, Miss Serviceman Nirali Bhatia. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon. You think damage. that her body might be dangerous? No, Commander. Nirali, the tests we're conducting may respectfully. Serviceman Bhatia may save more lives in death than she did in life. I understand what you're trying to do. Commander, you of all people should not if we lose our humanity in the process. I am out here fighting to stop This is a key like thing about right, you know, how divided the alliance might actually be on some things. Refusing Mr. Bhatia. I'm not going to tell Samesh that the body is being shipped. Get a huge chunk of paragon points for that. And if you use if you have enough for the renegade option, you get that too. I don't have time to talk now. I'm very busy. All right, so we have to activate her. She's part of a side quest as well as events in 2 and 3. So we cannot activate her stuff yet. Let's see. Okay, so we need to go back to Emily Wong. Hello again, Commander. Has there I been reminded any... Mr. Bosco. Thank you. It does not bring me happiness. Okay, so as soon as we cleared out, you know, progress the story, you should be able to go back to Chorus Den and finish the Septim's quest. Yeah, see, it's reset.
Okay, and Harkin is no longer relevant. Let's see, because we already did this. Yeah, yeah, see. There's two different ways. You know, you can speak to Harkin to do it. And his dialogue acts like, I think his dialogue will always act like you've got to talk to him first. There's Septimus. Commander. What are you on? What's bothering you, General? I've seen a lot of horrible things. This is the great Turian General. How did your kind ever defeat us? And if you bring Rex, instead, yeah, you, know, you get that. Trogan, but you're ugly. Tomorrow I'll be sober. I think I can see why you're upset. Look, kid, I appreciate what you're trying. General, did you ever? Ah, boy. So you think it's that easy? Just straighten up and act it's better than sitting on your ass all day. I really like Rex. Uh, maybe you're right, Commander. Shaira's worth the effort. Even if she won't have me back. This is no place for someone of your stature, General. All right. I'll go to her. Say, you're a bright kid. What, would you what do you want me to do? There's an Elcor dip. Why would he think such a thing? Because I told him. What Look, makes you think he'll You'll bring him proof. Take this data pad. It shows where I got my info. Who am I taking it to? His name is Zeltan. Okay, so he's an embassy. Well, here's to soldiers acting like soldiers. Thanks, Commander. You know, you might make a good general yourself one day. Mm. <laughs> I should comment about that one, but, well... Okay, so we're going to go back to the embassies and turn in these two side quests. Actually, we need to go. Let's see. Crap, where was she? I think she was in the main uh, presidium. Main, no, not presidium. You get what I'm saying, I think. Yeah, over here. All right, straight ahead. Word on the street is that you. I was sure he was a big player in anything going on here. Did These OSDs it? might have the information you're looking for. <laughs> You've got here, Commander, for your trouble. What would my future cooperation Exclusive? be? Exclusive? That would be worth... Now, if you'll excuse me, I should go see what's on this list. <laughs> Level up. Hmm, so we got two points. I want to go ahead and start working on that. Oh, got to take care of her, too. Let's see, she uses mostly submachine guns. But they're not actually listed like that in this, in this one. So I think they're actually treated as pistols. So this is why you want to have uh, Tally Zora around when you're dealing with Geth or mechanical enemies because she's extremely strong against them. She will actually use these. Let's see, go ahead, give her damage.
So something interesting about uh, shields is they basically an extra life bar. In some uh, professions like the Vanguard, well, anything with Biox will have a... Uh, I remember correctly, they all have increased the shields by certain amounts. And Sentinels have batshit high, you know, shield amounts, so they end up become tanky as fuck, hence the name, Sentinel. Because they are the tanks of the game. Let's see. Oh, well, we can just go this way. Need to get back to the embassies. Okay, so consort for her. Turn around, go here f into the NPCs to deal, deal with him. I believe you get different, di you get extra dialogue if you talk to the El to the Elcor and settle settle him down. You know, before going to Shai you know, Shira. I guess how did they pronounce their name? What? Yeah, the Asari. Sincere apologies. I've come to talk to you about your little... Curious. What do you know about the consort and her I know relations? who revealed your secret. It was... Unbelieving. I know... You are that. mistaken. See this here Confused. if you don't... This is so something about the Elcor is they had... They, they can't really uh, demonstrate emotion on their faces and, t and tone. So they say the emotion that they're, 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 you know, they're supposed to be conveying. So here he's confused. So he says he says he's confused. It's honestly pretty cool. <laughs> Septimus is a power. Relieved. See? I suppose you are correct. Startled realization. Anxious request. Please, you I'm sure she'll forgive you. Doubtful. Thankful. That was a great thing you did, Commander. Approving. Yes. I'm sure the Earth Clan stands to profit from this in some Please greet. I am Ambassador Kalen. Genuine query. Why do you explain what you're about to say? Our people See? communicate less through words. Plainly, we discovered our vocal expression. Why do you bother, Kalen? These Earth Clan don't really. So care the Volus and the Elcor share a planet. Remorseful response, Din. You don't truly believe that. And Tell me more about your species. Genuine enthusiasm. I delight in telling the history of my people. I'd like to know more about Frankly, the country. We elk. Our society is built on small, tight. Our government tends to be very stable. Our people are not very comfortable with sudden change. Goodbye, Ambassador. Sincere farewell. Mm. Good day to you, human. Enjoy your time on the Citadel. Earth Clan, you are in the wrong place. Chastising remark. Don't be so. I am Din Korlak, Volus Ambassador. I'd like to know more about the Volus. I'm sure our history and culture would. Actually, bore. I would like to know more. My about people it. came to the Citadel. Ah, yeah, so they are pretty much the money guys. Despite our long association with the Citadel and our many Tell me about Volus culture. We are tribal by nature, but our ways are not violent. We Larger tribes often engulf smaller ones and eventually split again. Since we're not physically adept, we trade our services for protection. You seem to have a bit of a chip on your shoulder, Din. You humans are new to the Citadel, and yet the Council has granted you great favor. Chastising <sighs> rebuke, Din. Your species has all... <laughs> Details. We still Goodbye, have... Goodbye, Ambassador. Yes, yes. Good day, Earth Clan. Let's see, okay. Let's see, we sh yep, we gotta talk to the consort. And then we're probably gonna stop and pick up next time, you know, getting ready to. What was, what was it? Yeah, getting ready to continue on with the, with the story. Let's see. Okay.
Get all the way across. Rocky, we're here. Septimus has sent word. Apparently, he sought the consul's forgiveness. It was a long time ago, though. I barely remember. What drew you back to the Citadel and to the Consul? I don't know. It may sound strange, but I simply couldn't be honest. That's not to say. Commander, I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. Thank you for speaking with him. Even the Elcor diplomat has withdrawn his campaign. Ah, see? I, di I did remember correctly. There is dialogue if you talked to, the, to the Elcor diplomat before talking to her. It was my honor to You are too you. kind, Commander. I also have one more thing to give you. I'd be honored. I offer a gift of words. Gift of words in my ass. Who you are, Yo, give me some fucking money. Give me some weapons. I see you. Your uniform fits. It is that strength that people are drawn to. So I think this is actually meant to go off whatever your background is, rather than, you know, some generic stuff. You know, generic uh, stuff that's always there regardless of uh, how it goes, but I think this is actually goes off your background. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. You have quite a gift, Shayo. Thank you. Never underestimate... Here, Commander. In light of your efforts with the Elcor Ambassador, I would like you to have this small trinket. What is it? A small mystery. And now I must ask you to remember my word. Okay, so let's take a look at that real quick. Hmm, where is it? Ah, oh, crap. Uh, there we go. Hmm. It's Commander Shepard. They will give you strength. I'm gonna look this up on the wiki because I'm pretty sure there actually was something very important about that. Let me see. Oh, okay, so it's actually used for another side quest. Ah. Wait, it looks like this is actually something that pays off in Mass Effect 3 rather than 2. Okay, let me see. Oh, no, no, there is one. Okay, there's a rune in one, okay. All right, so this is something. It, there is, yeah, you know, we do can't go to this in Mass Effect One, but it, there's also stuff stuff that take place on it, place. Sorry, there's also stuff that takes place on it in Three. There's a side quest area there, from from what I can tell. Let me I'm assuming I read this right. Okay, yes, this is something that pays off in three. You, you can't do it until three because it's a part of three's exploration. So, 
we'll do be doing exploration and such in threes. So hopefully I'll remember about that because this is one of many things that uh, you might you might forget about until they they just randomly shows up. Sort is very Any chance I can yeah, move up? She is great. The client list is a separate matter, and her Damn. schedule is complete. I think I'm done. Of here. course. You still can't get any, any you know, get any one on one time with her. Ain't that about a. Alright, so we pretty much only have this to go left. So we'll, we'll, we'll stop here and pick it up next time. See you next time, and thanks for watching.